Welcome back, Honest Man, Fallout 4, first playthrough, Far Harbor Edition. I'm here with Longfellow. He's around, trust me. We are at the day spa. Had to cut the prior session just a tad bit short. We almost finished our rounds. So the plan here is to head over to this National Park Visitor Center to track down Uncle Ken. Uh, that's what we're going to do. And then we have to head back to civilization, such as it is, and turn in a bunch of these quests. Oh, also, let's take care of this level up. So I think the play here is just more critical banker. Let's just keep... Is that the play? Because I feel like I'm storing enough. I think better criticals. Cause I, I don't feel like I'm lacking for crits necessarily. Let's do better criticals. And then I think the next level, I might finally dip into... Did you just kick a log, Longfellow? Stealth is not his strong suit. Uh, but I think I might finally dip into Sandman. Not that I feel like I necessarily need it. I'm just a little curious. Yeah, I think old Ken is oh, tucked in pretty well. Clearly this calls for diplomacy. Sounds exactly like the bartender. <laughs> Definitely related. Your nephew's worried about you. He sent me. Mitch. My boy Mitch sent you? He was always a smart one. He sent me the fall condensers. I mean, it's safe to breathe here. Glad to hear he still cares about his old uncle. But you... What? What have you done? They're coming. They're coming! What? What's coming? Who knows this time? I haven't reset my traps or repaired the defenses. Quick, do what you can with the workbench supplies. They'll be here soon. Jeez. Uh, okay. enough time. I'd really like like a low wall or something to block this. Shoot. Alright, not enough time. And apparently I was looking in the wrong direction. Great. some action. That's good.
You got a harpooner. Legendary Ruthless Trapper, huh? Light work. Yeah, we can take a look around. Let's talk to Ken first. Hi. Not bad. Mitch was a good boy to send you. But still, time to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before you attract more of them. Why would you possibly stay here? It's dangerous. My family's lived here for seven generations. I will not disrespect their memory. Now go. That was a stupid reason, so I'm going to convince him to come. Mitch sent me to bring you home, safely. Please, go to Far Harbor. This is my home. And what? You want me to huddle like a beggar in Far Harbor? I... I can't just leave. You have living family that cares about you. Are you just going to turn your back on them? I am an old man. I just want to live out my days on my land. You wouldn't understand. Just consider this a vacation. You'll come back later. When it's safe. You are so persistent. Fine. You happy? You've chased me from my home. Ah, I'll pack my things. All right. See, I think those the, this nice hat paying off. The dapper gent, worth every penny. Yeah. Okay, me and Longfellow are going to take a look around this place. And then we'll head back to town. Okay, so Ken's place is a bit of a dump, but there was an Islander Almanac on the counter here, which I just brushed and knocked to the floor. But trust me, it's right here. Perfect. Sludge-based recipes? Okay, so we're back at Far Harbor and going to turn in all our good deeds. Don't underestimate those trappers by the Azalea. The MS Azalea is good to go. I'll send the work crew over. And once we haul a piece of the ship here, the hull will be a sight to see. Single-handedly, you wiped out all those trappers. <laughs> Mariner. Single-handedly, you wiped out all those trappers. I cleared the lumber mill for you. We gotta go see the captain. Here's your pet. People keep leaving the island. But now that there's land, land to call their talk to birth. They'll come back. My friends have already said words. Like that. We need to turn back the tide. You'll see. Big shop's got to risk leaving by. If you ain't on. You ain't long for this world. Welcome to the beach. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. Only Alan's got enough backbone to stand up to the children. What are we doing? Bertha. Excuse me, ma'am? Smalls, we got no time. The mainlander cleared out Echo Lake Lumber Mill. Whatever you're talking about isn't as important as what Bertha's got to say. We've got to get off the docks, Captain. If you give us some of those Acadian fog condensers, my friends are ready to homestead the lumber mill. The surviving is about more than taming fog. We gotta stay together, Bertha. But we're no good here. Harbormen need their own land. Something to protect and hold. I was wrong about you. What? Not you. You. 
Bertha knows this island better than you, Avery. We give folks some condensers, and materials, and a chance to build defenses. And we'll survive, all right, and thrive. I can lend a hand, too. You would? Well, then their odds are sure to be better. Give them the fall condensers, Avery. Well, I won't stop you, but until we deal with the children of Adam, settling the island again, it could blow up in your face. Come, Bertha. You might want to check up on Echo Lake. Bertha's friends would no doubt welcome you. And take this. You never cease to amaze. Grateful? You get to see your boy again. Ah, it is good to see family again. He never visits our rights. Here. I... I... Mitch is at a loss for words. Hush now. I owe you one. Does that say fire belly recipe? Kind of liquor, I suppose? One last idea. Crazier than a box of rat roaches. But that hasn't stopped you before. Cole's got plenty of stopping power now. But if a Mire Lurk Queen went for a frontal assault. Has a queen ever attacked here? Well, not yet. But I'm telling you, the island's bubbling over with menace. Only a matter of time, I reckon. I'd like to help if I can. I had a feeling I could count on you. Thicker walls can beat the whole mass velocity force issue. But the bigger problem is acid. Only thing I've ever seen survive a queen's acid are other Meyer lurks. The Meyer lurks on our islands have carapaces that are extra tough. So you gather up a bunch of the carapaces and lug them back here. Then I'll reinforce the town as best as I'm able. Meyer lurk carapaces. Got it. Best of luck to you. Oh, it's the... Okay, only three. Only three. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm back at it with old Longfellow here. Uh, conveniently, they give us a, a quest marker for these Mire Lurks. So... And I only need three. So I figure let's just knock it out. We're head heading down to Haddock Cove here. which is pretty close. I was really tempted in town to talk to Avery about, you know, the fact that she's an imposter. But I'm not sure. I think I will do that. I'll, I'll do this first. Oops, that was a misclick. Yeah, they're coming now. It's okay.
I don't think we tripped the landmark yet. There we go. If I dive down for it, but let's just take a quick look around. We're here. It's got to be more Meyer lurks about, right? Here we go. Boosh. Easy peasy. Okay, me and Longfellow are going to uh, take a, just a quick sweep, see if there's anything fancy here, and we'll head back. Cutting carapaces is a dirty job. The pay will be worth it. I got your Meyer alert carapaces. Finally, it's done. Everything that can be welded, duct taped, or super glued to the damn docks, all there. Feels like I can finally sit a spell and relax. <sighs> take this. It's well earned. So, what are you planning next? It's been far too long since I've taken to the sea. It calls me, but that's for another day, Mainlander. Okay, interesting. To talk to Avery. A lot of people they got their clothes on their back. Nice to see you again. Everything's relatively quiet for once. You need something? <laughs> What's the penalty for murder in Far Harbor? We're too independent to really have laws. But if a murder can be proven, tradition is the culprit's executed. Extreme, but it keeps the peace. Hmm. <laughs> What's your opinion of Demon? We don't see him that often. He seems... pious, I guess. He rubs a lot of people the wrong way around here. So I'm glad he keeps to the observatory. Why? I'll be going. Bye, then. Okay, so we're back in Acadia here. So, what did you find? Can you right really on. trust Dima? Or is he hiding something? Right on cue. I found Dima's earliest memories. He murdered and replaced someone in Far Harbor. Then he covered it up. Even hiding the knowledge of it from himself. Damn it. I was hoping I was wrong. But I just knew there was something. Do you know why he did it? Indeed, the intention is important. I mean, desperate doesn't seem like the right word. I think he just wants peace for everyone on the island. Even if it means controlling them from the shadows. So, he means the best? Should we help him? Is Acadia worth saving? There's good people since here. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm trying to... Main story, I sided with the railroad. So I'm definitely on the pro-synth side. You're not saying anything. Zip it. So... But I'm not sure. I, I think Acadia's worth protecting, but why is she here? You should go home. Head home, Kasumi. Back to the Commonwealth. I've been thinking about that actually, but I need to see this through. There are synths here I care about. Maybe when this is over, we can talk about it again. Yeah, I think. Come on, Nick. Where'd Nick go? Look, I was hoping we could talk. I didn't want to believe you at first about us being brothers. You don't have to apologize, Nick. I know it must have been a shock. Yeah, well, I still don't feel proud of taking it as bad as I did. Maybe we can start over? I'd like that. It's been good to talk to you again, Nick. Heads up. Do something for you? Nick, need something? Your thoughts? I'll follow wherever you lead. That was all I had. Got right. it. That's not very enlightening. So I think for the purposes of this playthrough, still trying to, you know, stay in the the synth lane, as it were. I think the plays definitely don't tell Far Harbor. Talk to Dima first. Hey, Dima. Did you need something? Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. So you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a synth's identity from her and made her an agent. Why did you do it? I needed to calm Far Harbor, a moderate voice, an example of what humanity should be, how we could exist together as equals. But I couldn't live with the memories of the blood on my hands. A human and a synth are both gone because of me. Okay. Let's be practical. How do we proceed from here? You're right. We have to focus on what has to be done now. Is that what you call justice? Because I sure don't. I'm starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They'd come after Acadia, and then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth must remain hidden. So, you did all of that on your own? No one else in Acadia is involved? What I've done goes against all of our ideals. I even hid it from myself. So, no, there can't be anyone else. I'm not can. <sighs> I don't see how him turning himself in destroys Acadia necessarily. Like that, that would seem irrational. Are we? I know this. This is a lot to take in. Are we to suppose that Far Harbor is filled with irrational actors? Perhaps we are. I'll keep your secret, Dima. Thank you. Maybe the. Guilt 
will keep me focused. It didn't seem to stop him before. As horrifying as it might be to suggest, this memory you've recovered has given us a new option. If Far Harbor could be made more tranquil by our intervention, then perhaps the same trick will work twice on the children of Atom. We could replace High Confessor Tectus with someone willing to forgive Far Harbor and work towards reconciling. There must be another way we can make things right. None that I can see. The authority of the High Confessor is absolute. The children of Adam won't see the need for peace unless he changes his mind. This is a bad idea. So he, right away he wants to kill again. <laughs> Clearly he has learned nothing. Uh, Do your own damn dirty work. I can't. Tectus already gave me his ultimatum. He knows all my people. I need someone who has a chance of earning his trust. Please, consider it. Dima. Feel free to say whatever is on your mind. One of your memories was about a kill switch you installed to shut down power to Far Harbor and let the fog take them. It's all here in this holotape. Let me see this. I remember. I was afraid that Far Harbor might turn against us. See us as too different for their precious island. So I made a contingency plan. Mass murder. I hid the kill switch code because I couldn't stomach the thought of actually using it. Then I hid the memory. Because I couldn't even stand knowing I made it. What have I done? If the children of Adam were to ever get a hold of that code, they would destroy Far Harbor. Why save them? Don't the children have reasons for hating Far Harbor? When the fog got worse, the people of Far Harbor killed a child of Adam missionary. There's been nothing but hatred and bloodshed since. But murder is not the solution. Well, that's a... <laughs> That's a 180. I thought murder was the solution. Don't worry, Dima. The children of Adam won't get that code. I'll protect Far Harbor. Good. Now we just need to find some way to end this conflict. Have you found anything else in my memories? Not that you mention it. I have a memory of yours about a nuclear launch key. You knew how to detonate the sub and the nucleus all along. Give me a moment. I need to remember for myself. So, I chose to forget the launch key even existed. Poor Confessor Martin. Was I lying to him all that time? The submarine is rusted into the dry dock. The only target that missile is ever going to hit is the base itself. The nucleus. Where the children of Adam live. We have to keep that key out of the wrong hands. The nucleus has innocent people living there among the zealots threatening Far Harbor. Is the nucleus even worth saving? Don't judge them by what Confessor Tectus has done. He's used their fears and hatred to turn them into a weapon against Far Harbor. But there's still time to turn them away from that. That key is the answer, Dima. We should destroy the nucleus. You're serious? How would that solve anything? The children of Adam believe in division. Deep down, nuclear destruction is what they want. They just need to be convinced. I remember having these same debates a long time ago. Maybe it's time I accept the logical conclusion very well. 
If you can convince Confessor Tectus that division is the answer his people are looking for, then the conflict will solve itself. It won't be easy as an outsider, even a new convert. But if you prove to them you can be trusted by helping them, then Tectus might be easier to sway. Okay, so we're back in Far Harbor. We're back with Longfellow. Uh, as I was popping around, I got yet another thing for Mariner. Harbor safe as it's going to get. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? Reason and sense keep steering you clear. What's on your mind? You're the only mainlander I'd ever tell of this. So hear me out. The Red Death. May have heard of it. The big monster lives beneath the waves. Only strikes when the fog is thick. People think it's some drunken sailor's tale. But no one goes sailing when there's a fog on. In their bones, they know there's something out there. Is there any evidence the Red Death is real? When I was a little one, I went sailing with my aunt. Fog rolled in thick and fast, and we saw it. Glowing red, crimson, an unholy light that stretched to the sky. My aunt was no fool. We rode to shore with all our might. Tide made it hard, but we hit landfall. Yeah, I suppose the Red Death could exist. Good, an open mind. With my business here done, and knowing someone like yourself, I seek to end this unholy terror. Dozens of boats over the long years been claimed by it. I mean to hunt this Red Death. Are you with me? Count me in. Bring whatever weapons of death and mass destruction you've got. Meet by the docks. You take your boat, I'll take mine. This trip is going to test our metal more than anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, uh... This Mariner chick has some demons. Uh, but uh, I think the episode is, is starting to take shape. So what we're going to do is switch into our serious business gear and then actually what I would like to do put those on hold for a, for a hot minute there was this combat armor which got put into like the miscellaneous quests I want to try and track that down uh, really wish I had those cakes that let you breathe underwater. I don't have any on me. They're back at home plate. I forgot to grab more. Let but let's let's just give it a whirl. Yeah, we were just here. Yeah, see we gotta dive. We gotta dive, Longfellow. Inside? Why? Oh god. <laughs> Okay, one down. <gasps> All right, that's two.
All right, that's all of them. Okay, so we're back at Far Harbor. I've got Longfellow. Uh, it's hard to see in this light, but I did swap in a couple of pieces with the marine armor. Uh, a bunch of the other stuff that I have, I just felt like was better. I mean, it doesn't have the raw stats, but I like a little extra sprint speed. I like a little easier lock picking. A lower VATS action point cost is great. And the the helmet as well that I had, the commando helmet, again, re reduced action point cost in VATS. I'm assuming these stack and I'm actually getting something from having both. Maybe that's wrong. Uh, maybe those don't and that's kind of a waste, but... In any case, I did pick up the the right arm, and I put some pockets on it, and then the chest piece, which I made lightweight. Uh, I felt like that was the, the way to go. So, well, in any event, we're here to kill some stuff. I was hoping for some daylight, but I guess that doesn't make sense, because this thing is only at night, so... They were going to force us into this either way, I imagine. Nice to see you again. Everything's relatively quiet for once. You need something? Uh, let me let me take care of this first. Mariner. I'll meet you there. The Red Death is going. All right, let's do this. Nice. Oh, it's an island. I thought this was just going to be a just a straight up boss. Maybe it still is. Maybe that's what's going to happen here. But it seems they're taking us to a location, perhaps. You read me, Mainlander. I plotted a safe course for your boat. Don't tamper with it. The shoal near where we're headed can easily capsize a boat of your size. I'll catch up to you. Auntie Stacy told others of her brush with the Red Death. They laughed at her. Then, two weeks after, a full fishing boat never came back. From the beach, they saw the glow on the horizon. I've been looking to end the reign of the Red Death's terror my whole life. Wrecks all around it. There. You see it, right? I see, and get prepared. I see ships. I just see a red light. It can't be that. That's the Red Death? Are you sure this is it? It's got to be. The red glowing eyes. I mean, when the fog's thick, that little fella is deadly in his own fashion. The shoals around here are treacherous. A middling captain with the might of curiosity would run aground for certain. And this far from shore, that'll end you. Looks like you achieved your goal. <laughs> There it is. My whole life, I've been having nightmares about a little myolurk. What do we say to all the folk back home? If we tell them the truth, we'll be a laughing stock. This is a total swerve. There's going to be like a mother or something. Would it really be that big of a deal? You've no idea how pig-headed and relentless harbormen can be. Or maybe you do. Story will be told for generations. Maybe we embellish a little. Or a lot. Make it the stuff of legends. I have little stomach for it. But it's better than the alternative. Let's go. I thought I got this for you. Celebrate. I didn't think it would turn out like this. Interesting. 
Vanquish Red Death. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be... This has got to be a swerve, right? This is going to be a big mother. Level one. It's not even worth the bullet. Oh my god. That's <laughs> that's really it. <laughs> this must be her boat, right? It's got to be. All right, well, <laughs> well, we'll pick up back at Far Harbor. They're here. They're back. Did you find it? Did you end the scourge of the seas? So, uh, we set sail. It was a terrible fight. So you killed it? Oh, yes, we did at that. It was quite the sight. Here, they did it. The Red Death's no more. Did it take long? My grand figured it would take a mini nuke direct to the center of the eye to do it in. That would have worked, but we may do. The seas are ours again. We can fish in peace. Tell me, are you injured, Mariner? Are you okay? <laughs> no. We managed to get through unscathed. Oh, thank God. I thought for sure you were sailing to your graves. Here's to the heroes. The island's restless. No good can come of it. Oh, stim packs. Holy stuff. Is that your loved one? My fine. Mariner. I never met some of our tools and stamps. The things I can do. If these knuckleheads don't pitch it, the whole lot of us are doomed. Okay, so we're back at the nucleus. I've got Longfellow with me. I think he's going to appreciate this. We, we need to end this episode proper, right? Looks like I can enter the launch key here, but no, I, I don't think that should be necessary, right? Well, let's just have a, a rational conversation. High Confessor. With the, with the High Confessor. To what do I owe the honor of such a visit from one of these things? Well... About that. The launch key for the sub's nukes. I wanted to ask you about it. The key to division, yes. Reunion with Atom at the flick of a wrist. An object of true power. Lost to the ages, unfortunately. What did you wish to know? Yeah, about that. Have you been searching for the key? There was a time when we sought it more fervently. But after years of fruitless hunting, we took it as a sign. If Adam wanted us to have such a relic, he would make it so. If you had the key, would you use it to launch the nuke? To bring about division? A question I've asked many a time. To experience instant rebirth as incalculable new worlds. Well, there are few gifts greater. But this I do. Adam's kingdom. We have been given stewardship of this place. To abandon it, it would be an affront to everything he has granted us. Such a grand division. It is not our family's path. Oh, but I disagree. It's time for you to meet your god. I think you need to reconsider your stance on using the nukes. Really? I will not lie. Hearing such a thing from you does carry weight. But I must know why. I don't like the Adam sent me spiel. I, I think we can just... I think honesty is the best policy. Try to think about it, Confessor. 
There's no greater way to prove your devotion to Adam than a grand division. Unless that doesn't matter to you. No. No, you're right. True devotion through division. But without the key, well, there is little we can do. We don't need to wait any longer. I recovered the key, and I say it's time we bring about division. You... you've had it this whole time? This... this was all a test, wasn't it? By him? Then let us not delay our reunion another moment. I will address the children. The launch controls are over there. It's time you made division a reality. <laughs> Yeah, because if you're going to have a crazy religion, you better be ready to walk the walk, right? Yeah, they're kneeling. Of course they are. Like that long fellow? Look alive. Yeah, something you need from me? Your thoughts? Keep saying to myself I should settle down someday. Think I missed the boat on that one. Nothing else for now. Back to it then. Yeah, good talk. personality imprint we didn't have names inside the Institute and after the personality experiment started the only name you ever called yourself was Nick Valentine if there's another name you'd prefer I'd be happy to no oh, I, I like the name when you wear something for a long time it kind of seeps into you, you know? of course So you've done what we discussed. I saw the atomic blast from here. Felt it shake the island. In a way, I suppose the children of Adam have become one with the fog they thought was their god's messenger. I convinced them to embrace division. They left this world following their beliefs. Yes. At least they made that choice for themselves. Was there anything else you needed? We still need to discuss what you did in Far Harbor. I can't undo what's done. But for the sake of my people and those in Far Harbor, we need to bury that evidence. Please. I feel like this doesn't end if I don't pick one of these. Uh, I think the... I think turning yourself in is the way to go. Make your case to the people of Far Harbor, Dima. Let them decide. And if their judgment is to destroy Acadia, the synths I've gathered here are innocent. I'm responsible for them being here.
Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Why would they destroy Acadia? Really think Far Harbor will destroy Acadia if they find out? They were willing to kill the children of Atom for far less. You said you wanted human and synth kind to be equal. Well, now you have to prove it. Tell them the truth. Trust that they'll do the right thing. You're... You're right. I... We... Can't be above any other living being. When something terrible is done, there have to be repercussions. I'll go. The people of Far Harbor will have to decide what to do with me. And I will have to hope Acadia will be spared. Always options. Don't do this. Don't. Don't leave. If atoning for my actions can keep you safe, well, I care for you all too much to do anything else. Dima, please. Be strong, Faraday. It will be all right. My job was always taking care of Dima. What is there left for me now? I don't know. Maybe just need to find some. New hobbies or something, right? I'm gambling the lives of my people. Your trust in Far Harbor is not misplaced. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta walk the walk too, Dima. Can't be a hypocrite. Okay, here we go. My long walk is over. What's this about? People of Far Harbor, you know me. We have lived peacefully together for years. We have come to trust each other in our way. But I've betrayed that trust. And I've kept the truth from all of you. Early on, during Acadia's founding, I murdered one of your own. I replaced them with one of mine. What? Who? The identity of my agent must remain hidden. They are as much a victim in this as anyone. They will do you no further harm. I am the only one to blame. Go on. I wanted to prove that humanity and synth could coexist. That we did not have to fear each other. But I went too far. I see that now. I only ask that you judge me and not what we built together. Allow the peace between Acadia and Far Harbor to last beyond this. Peace? You call murdering one of ours peace? I say we end this bastard and then burn his whole goddamn Acadia to the ground! Alan, enough. Demo will pay for this crime, but not Acadia. This path you want leads to murder. Cold blooded murder. We leave them be. We'll never know if they're killing and replacing us one by one. No. We kill every last one of them just to be sure. Who's with me? <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Acadia is blameless. You have your criminal here. Judge him and him alone. You're not even you. God damn it. Careful. This could get out of hand real fast. Don't listen to the mainlander. My brother knows what we've got to do. See the hull? That's thanks to the mainlander, a true friend. Of the harbor. You going to listen to Alan's hate mongering? You even remember who did the captain's dance? Mainlander cleared my farm, avenged my family, more than the rest of you ever did for me. What's Alan really ever done? Caused trouble. Remember who cleared the lumber mill? Oh, she came back. Remember who's given us a new chance to take back our island? My uncle's safe and alive. The strangers always steered us right. Enough. Oh. Well, Back down. Alan, the harbor's spoken. So this ends here, Dima. 
Murder's a serious crime. There's only the one punishment for it. If you have any last words, now's the time. I'm sorry. Mitch. Every homestead, town, and people has a dark side. But if we're ever to know peace, we don't let the worst of us define us. So justice has been done. And I expect everyone to respect the peace between us and Acadia. Harbor safe because it's going to dance. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? Reason, safe, you're even clear. Okay. So I think that's where we're gonna wrap. Dima is dead. Ooh, I can take his stuff. Not nothing special. So yeah, Dima's dead. Turned in for his crimes. There was, I maybe shouldn't have mentioned it, but there was a major bug. So I had to reload. When I went and killed the Red Death, when I came back, Avery was gone. Like, I couldn't find her anywhere. So then when Dima came here to turn himself in, she wasn't here to talk to him, so it was just froze. It was just bugged out. They just all stand in the circle and do nothing. So that's why maybe the dialogue would have been different had I killed the Red Death already. That's why she has a marker over her head. It's because I reloaded to a point prior to that to resolve this. So in any case, all is well that ends well. I was glad I was able to get the full scene, even though it even still kind of seemed a little janky, like they weren't looking at me. But we got there, Nick. We got there. Uh, but in any event, that'll do it. We're going to sign off. Next time, I think we're at the end of Far Harbor. I'm going to go talk to Kasumi, get her back to her parents, most likely. And that'll do it. Then we're going to head into Nuka World. I have no idea what that is or, or what to expect. Uh, we can figure that out together. Uh, but once again, that'll do it. Thank you all so much. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.